Have you ever wondered why we stand and place our hand over our heart when we say the Pledge of Allegiance or when we sing or hear the national anthem? Or why we remove our hats and even our hoodie covers from our head? We do it to show respect. Not only is it a sign of respect to our country and flag, but also to the men and women who defend our country and to those who died for our freedom. Please rise and place your right hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. You may be seated. Let's go to our reporter in the field. Hi, my name is Harper. I am with Parker. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a dog. Did you know their nose print is as unique as a human's fingerprint? No, I didn't know that. That's really cool. Thank you, Parker. Here are the high flyers for assertiveness. In kindergarten, we have Beckett and Lucy. In first grade, we have Clara and Jose. In second grade, we have Conrad, Eliza, and Zachary. In third grade, we have Elia and Xander. In fourth grade, we have Sarmad and Romeo. In fifth grade, we have Paisley and Lucy. Way to go, high flyers. We currently have 35,771 care cards. Our goal is 45,000. Keep up the good work, Falcons. Falco has demonstrated three ways we can sit during carpet time to honor and respect personal space. Let's review. These are our carpet seating options. Our first option is meditate. That's how I'm sitting. Your legs are gonna be crossed and your hands are on your knees. Your second option is mountain. My legs are pulled in and my hands are hugging my legs. Third option is mer person. Your legs are stacked to the side and your hands are in your lap. This is probably easier for the people with short legs, not long legs like me. My favorite option is mount, but you guys can pick which one you like the best. Stay on your spot and keep your hands to yourself. We've got this, Falcons. Second graders have been learning about state and national holidays during social studies, especially holidays that honor and remember people and events in history. The week of Thanksgiving, they learned about the history of the Macy's Day Parade. Our amazing art teacher, Mrs. Benchoff, taught the students about texture and how to make 3D designs with stuffing. Each student had the opportunity to make their own balloon for their very own Thanksgiving Day Parade. Let's take a look. Now I'm here with Mrs. Gunn. Hi, Spursewood. You guys have been learning about setting goals and how to set realistic goals and reach goals. Did you know that setting goals is actually a way that we can build our confidence and our self-esteem? So I hope as you are setting goals with your teachers over the coming weeks that you're thinking about ways that your goals can help you increase your confidence to achieve things. I would love to hear what goals you guys have set. If you see me in the hallway, I would love to hear what goals you're working on. Thank you, Mrs. Guymond. <laughs> 
Hi Sprucewood Falcons, it's Principal Skeno here and it's time for the Scoop from Skeno. This week I wanted to talk to everyone about our school's mission. Our building leadership team that you met a few weeks ago have been busy taking information from everyone to learn who we are and why we exist as a school. And our mission statement is that Sprucewood is a school where everyone learns at high levels. And what's so wonderful about our mission is that your level that's really high might be really low for someone else and vice versa. So you'll all get to be working towards being your very best. All right, we'll be looking out for all students learning at high levels this week. Here's what's happening at Sprucewood this week. The game of the week is soccer, partner passing, and dribbling practice. Friday students have a choir and or orchestra assembly at, at 10 a.m. Have a great week, Falcons. Thanks for watching the Falcon, Falcon Report. Is the elf watching? Yeah, I think. Oh, too bad. I haven't been that good this year. Let's go.